Hi everyone, Serena here. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Now today, as the snow is just melting outside, I'm thinking about going outside and starting to draw and paint again. So I want to put together a plein air kit and I haven't done one before but I'm going to try it this year to go on site and paint some different things. If you'd like to put together a plein air kit, watch what I've done here. All right, first you're going to need a place to sit. And I do have this, uh, I should take the tag off already, I've had it a year. Uh, this is a Coleman stool. I mean, it's just a, a quick stool that you can open and shut and carry with you. Um, I plant a lot of wide row beans and peas, and I need to reach over the row. The row is about two feet wide. So I need to reach over the row when it's time to harvest and this is perfect. I just put it out, uh, sit down and reach over and put the beans in a bucket and as I move down the row I just move the stool. So this is perfect. It's lightweight. This is great for plein air. Uh, any brand, you know, anything you have that's a, that's a little camp stool you can take with you. Now use what you have. So you do need something to sit on. Then of course you need a palette. I'm going to use a Prima Odyssey palette that I already have. I love the colors. I've swatched them out already. And for a small palette, you've got all the colors you need. It's got a yellow, red, blue. So you're all set if you want to mix any colors. You've got some secondary colors already mixed. You've got your orange, green, and purple already there. And a nice selection of browns if you do any natural landscapes. So this is a perfect palette. It's all set to go doesn't weigh very much, it's lightweight, and that's my palette of choice. Secondly, you need some brushes. Now, these would be nice because with water brushes, it's self-contained. You've got the water in there, just fill it up and you're ready to go. You can just take that whole unit. You could even take all the whole set if you wanted to. These are very light, but that's one choice. I'm going to put my Jack, uh, I'm sorry, my Escoda travel brush in the Odyssey palette. It's a nice light brush. It's got a fine enough point if you want to do details, but it's not uh, so small that you can't do a wash with it as long as your paper is going to be a small enough size. So I can put this right in here. I like that it fits right in this Odyssey palette. It's ready to go. One contained unit. I don't have to remember to bring my brush. It's all set to go. The next thing you want is paper or something to paint on. Now, I'm kind of torn between the uh, watercolor block here and using a, an actual watercolor journal. And I might use both back and forth. I got the watercolor journal for traveling, so I'll be using both. But the good thing about the watercolor palette is that it's, or, uh, I'm sorry, the watercolor block, is it is a block. It's sealed on the sides, so you don't have to worry about it buckling or warping while you're painting. And this is a Fabriano cold press. It's got a nice surface. It's a 5 by 7 It's a nice little size to work with, but it gives you enough surface to get your subject across. The downside with it is that if you aren't finished or you don't finish one piece and let it dry to pull it off and reveal the next sheet, you don't have more than one sheet to work with at a time. So you've only got that one surface. In that case, if you don't have a specific subject, you may want to go with something like this, which is very nice. Um, I haven't opened it yet. It's the Etcher Watercolor, or I'm sorry, Mixed Media Journal. And it's a nice 100% cotton paper. I've used it before in a larger size at home and it's the perfect size for traveling. You can either do a single sheet like this or open it up for a panorama if you want to do a big landscape or a street scene, something that's very wide. It's perfect. And you've also got the ability to um, do multiple paintings at once or pictures at once. You can do one, flip the page, do another one as opposed to the watercolor block where you're a little limited. So that's a personal choice. Whatever you want to use, use. Uh, one thing I do recommend if you do have a 
journal like this. Sometimes it gets quite windy when you're out. Just go ahead and pick up some of these clips. Uh, they really are a lifesaver when you've got a windy day. You just clip your papers together and you can continue on without any, any worry. Now another thing you're going to need, of course, with your watercolor work is water. Uh, some people just take their water bottle and they pour it into containers and just use it for that and swig a couple of swigs out of it when they get thirsty. I would rather not introduce bacteria into the paints or into the brushes, so I'm going to keep a separate water bottle. This is a 20 ounce, just reusable water bottle. It's got a nice tight cap on it. I don't have to worry about it leaking. It's more than enough water than I'll use in one session. And I'm going to continue uh, or use these little cups here that I use at home as well uh, for my travels. They don't weigh very much. They look like they do, but they're very lightweight. They're not heavy. And it'll be enough for me to have two cups of water that I can just spill out and re refill whenever I need. One other thing I've noticed that I like to use is a pipette. And I love this because when you need to get more water into your palette, instead of sitting there with a brush going like that, trying to get it in, or trying to like pour just the right amount into your palette, it's impossible. This way you just dip it in, dip it in, dip it in, and you've got enough. If you put too much, you can suck it out too. It's a great little tool. These are like disposable, but I use them over and over again. There's no reason to throw them out. I got these from Jackson's for, I think there were 10 in a packet. They were less than a dollar. So these are indispensable. I love those. The other few things I would put in my kit are a pencil, pencil uh, sharpener, and an eraser. And uh, since I also like to draw in pen first and then paint in the subject, I use my Millennium uh, Zig Pen here. So those are nice to have handy. So I'll put all those together and I'm going to keep them separate from everything else ju by just using an inexpensive Ziploc bag. Just throw those right in there. Anything that's small, the pipette, the clips, anything like that, I can throw them all together like that in the bag. Now, I also want something to wipe on or to kind of dry my brush a little bit. And I've found these, I've got to tell you about this, if you like watercolor, these are fantastic. You don't have to use a whole sheet. You can cut them off single sheet, but they are Viva Signature Cloth. Now Viva puts out some other ones, but these are the Signature Cloth paper towels and I'll show you the package in a second. Here's the Viva Signature Cloth uh, package. It's perfect for watercolors because it's absorbent but it feels like cloth. They're so soft they don't fall apart like some of the other you know cheap inexpensive paper towels out there. Um, I'm not paid by Viva, it's just that I love the product so much I want to share that with you and you will love it too. Now we're going to have a run on Viva Signature Cloth and I won't be able to find them in the store anymore. <gasps> Alright, so we have all our items that we're going to take with us. We need something to put them in. And I found this Jerry's uh, mesh bag to be perfect because you can kind of see through it. It's very thick, very sturdy, and it fits everything. I can fit even both of my sketchbooks if I want, my water bottle, my palette, even these brushes if I want to put those brushes in, the whole bag of box of them, and my collection of pens, pencils, my water cup, my cloths, my paper towels, everything goes in here perfectly. And the only other thing you're going to need is food. Make sure you bring a snack with you because you're, it's going to keep you going. Something to look forward to if you need to take a break, if you get frustrated in painting, but this even fits in there too. Look at that. Perfect, nice pack, ready to go. I can even keep this uh, put together. I don't even have to take it apart and t leave anything at home. I can leave it already, already put together by the door, ready to go. This along with my um, stool and I'm set to go and find a subject walking around town or just drive somewhere and find some nice thing to do. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. I wish you luck in putting together your plein air kit. The spring is coming. Don't wait too long. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.